Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, it's a big welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to share 10 amazing tips and tricks in Photoshop. So let's get started. The first tip will be how to select your subject out of the background and also select the hair of your subject. So we'll be using our quick selection tool. You can use any of the tools here, any of the selection tools, but I'll be using the quick selection tool. And I'll click on select subject and Photoshop will select the subject out of the background. And as we see here, if we zoom in, to zoom in or out, hold on your space bar and control or command, then you'll be able to get your zoom and zoom in and out. To pan or just hold your space bar and you'll see the hand and you'll be able to move the picture. As we see here, the hair of our subject is not properly selected. So we are going to click on select and mask and also the hand here is not properly selected. So we we'll hold on shift to add to the selection and just select the parts that we want to add and check to make sure our subject is properly selected. The hand here to our finger one of our finger is not properly selected. Hold on your shift to add a selection. If you want to remove from the selection, you hold your alt or option and you remove from the selection. But since you don't want that, we just command Z and then we click on select and mask. So here we have it, we zoom in on the hair and we can see that part of the hair has some white, little white patches here. So you just click on those parts just to make sure they are selected. Okay, that's good. Then to our output to we select new layer with layer mask and click OK. And as we see here, our layer, our background has changed. And the other picture that was there that I want to use for the background has automatically become our background since that is already there so that's another way to quickly remove the background or change the background of a subject that there's also an option here to remove background if we don't want to go through the stress of select and mask and quick selection tool you would just um, make sure your layer is active and click on remove background okay. and Photoshop will remove the background for you and that's it okay quite easily done for you you don't need to go to the quick selection tool route so the next tip is going to be how to put a text behind your subject okay so i'm going to just pick up my text tool and type in anything i want to type let's just type in good okay so i'm just going to put this up here so this text here is in front or above my layer 
but I want to put it behind my subject. So I'm just going to, since I already have the subject layer duplicated, I'm just going to put it behind one or underneath one of the layer. And then my text is going to be at the back of my subject. Okay, that's quite easy. So the next tip is going to be how to duplicate layers fast without clicking command J. So instead of clicking command J, I hold on Alt or Option and I'll just drag my layer up or down if I want to duplicate this group. For example, hold auto option, drag it above, hold auto option, drag it underneath, and I'm going to make a copy. So now let us add some effect to this layer. Okay, first let me put in another text. I'll just change this to be vertical text. And just write something here. Let's just write day. Okay. So now I have two layers here. I have good and I have day. So now I want to put some effect on the good layer. I'm going to add the stroke. I'm going to add the drop shadow. I'm just I'm just adding anything. I'm going to add bevel and emboss. I'm going to add, you know, I'm adding gradient. I think this is good. So now I want to put the same effect on the day layer here. So instead of me going there again and clicking everything, what I'll do is I'll just hold Alt or Option. And hold on that FX for the effects on that good layer and just drag it onto the day layer. And the effect will be transferred to the other one. So if you want to put that same effect on the image that's on the lady in the picture, you do the same, you hold Alt or Option, click on the FX and just drag it onto that layer and it should be transferred right so the next tip is how to hide layers if you want to hide some layers and reveal some layers instead of going and clicking on the visibility icon to reveal some or hide some you can just target the layer that you want to show like if I just want this upper layer to be the one to show here, I want to add all the other layers. I will hold on Alt or Option and just click on that eye icon here. And all the other layers will be hidden. And click it back and all the other layers will be revealed. So the next tip is going to be how to merge layers. If I want to merge all these layers to become one single JPEG layer, that's all the effects will be in one layer, everything will be combined together. So instead of me just clicking everything and clicking merge layers, all I can do is I'll just select the topmost layer, I'll hold shift, auto option, command and E. And all the layers will be here on top here okay and if I want to select some parts like I don't want the good to show and I want to quickly get the flat format of all the things I've done I will just hold the layers that I want to show I'll select the specific layers and I'll hold my Command. I don't want the good to show, so I would not select the good. I'll hold day. I 
I would select this one as well. Then I would click Command, Alt or Option, and E. I would not click the Shift. And then I'll have the layer without the good in it. Okay. Then this is the other one. And this is the one we just created. You see the merged layer. Okay. So now if I want to quickly export this JPEG layer, if I want to quickly export this flat layer that I just created, what I can do instead of clicking on Command S or going up to File and clicking Export or Save Path, if I just want to do that very fast, I would click, I would right click on that layer that I want to export. And here yeah, we'll see we have Quick Export as PNG. But we're going to change it to quick export as JPEG since we want to export as JPEG. So we we'll go to file, go to export, and we'll go to export preferences. And here we we'll see it's in PNG. So we're going to click that arrow and change it to JPEG and click on OK. So now when we right click that layer, we we'll see quick export as JPEG and be able to save it as whatever we want to save it as okay so that is how to export very fast just right click and click ex quick export as jpeg okay so the next the next tip will be how to change a background color very fast in photoshop so I'm going to be using another picture. I'm going to use this lovely picture here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. Okay, I click Command J to duplicate this layer. And then I'll select the subject out of the background. I can use this shortcut here. Remove background. I can't see that yet because I still have the other background. As you see, our picture is perfectly selected out of the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a hue and saturation tab to this background here. Add the hue and saturation. Clip it to the background layer. And I'll just select the color I want to change. And I'll drag it, and the background color is going to change. Make sure you click on colorize, and then you get some nice color. Yeah, okay. Alright, so those are the tips and tricks that I'll be sharing with you today. I hope you found this helpful. And if you do, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and you have a good day. See you on my next video. Bye.